A look at the struggles going on in Jackson, Mississippi, as the city deals with its ongoing water crisis. This morning, we're revisiting a school that's been in the middle of it. ABC's senior congressional correspondent Rachel Scott has more in her new series that follows the money of major federal aid programs. It's called Through the Cracks. In Jackson, Mississippi, access to clean water can be hard to come by, even after a wave of new federal funding. We first visited Wilkins Elementary School back in 2021. More than a year later, clean and safe drinking water is still not a guarantee. Hey, you all be careful, boys. These students were pulled out of class to help load donations of water off this pickup truck and into Wilkins Elementary. They're just 10 to 12 years old, carrying stacks of water half their size. This is the water the school largely depends on. It's bottled. For much of the year, nothing from the faucets is safe to drink. Do we waste water? We do not waste water. It's too precious. It just seem like we're forgotten. We're just forgotten right here. What's happening at Wilkins is happening all across Jackson. More than 300 boil water notices have been issued in the last two years alone. That means entire weeks can go by without access to clean water from the city. Glenda Barner is a grandmother of seven. She often has to prepare meals for her entire family just using bottled water. She can go through three cases of water on just one meal. We shouldn't have to go through this. We really shouldn't. But, you know, what can we do? We rely on our officials to do what they need to do to fix it. Mississippi received $429 million from the bipartisan infrastructure law to address water directly. ABC News has learned city leaders in Jackson did not apply for that funding last year only recently applying in 2023. Even without the money from the infrastructure law, the city of Jackson is still receiving more than $800 million of federal funds. Some of that is from EPA grants. We sat down with Administrator Michael Regan. You know, in a city like Jackson, we're not only rebuilding the infrastructure, we were building our trust with the community. The community has to have trust in their government. But rebuilding trust and fixing Jackson's water system will take time. Rachel Scott, ABC News, Jackson, Mississippi. Our thanks to Rachel Scott for that. You can see Rachel's full report through the cracks Monday night on Prime with Lindsay Davis on our ABC News live streaming service. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.